Hey folks, how you doing? Dave McRae here. Um, it is an absolutely gorgeous summer day here in Toronto. It's probably about 35 degrees Celsius, but it feels more like 40 degrees with the humidity, which, I mean, that's like Florida weather. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit off the top of my head, but if it's not 100 degrees Fahrenheit, it has to be closing in on it. Um, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, there's a nice breeze, but it's kind of gross at the same time because of the humidity. Um, and I know that's not what you traditionally think of when you think of Canada, but like I always say, uh, we get very hot summers, at least here in Toronto and southern Ontario, and very cold winters. So um, yeah, it's gross. It's great, but it's gross. Um, okay, that being said, there's two things I want to talk about. Um, and that is, the first thing is, is to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed to this channel. Sorry, I'm sitting off to the side of a main road, so I apologize if it's hard to hear me at times because of trucks. Um, yeah, we just crossed 9,000 subscribers, uh, which is fantastic because what's crazier than that is this time a month ago, I was at like 6,700. So I've gained like 2,000 subscribers in a month. That's fantastic. Now, I can't take all the credit for that. I mean, the vast majority of that has to do with, you know, um, a certain trailer that dropped on June the 8th and the content I was uploading because of it. But nonetheless, I, you know, I mean, that's amazing. That's totally awesome. So um, I appreciate your support and I think it's great that you guys care what I have to say and the insight that I bring to the table, whether it's Halloween or whatever the hell else I'm talking about. So uh, I really do appreciate it. Thank you. And for those of you who don't know, I've said this before on this channel, but for those of you who might be new and not know this, I've only had this, oh, hang on a sec, big Mack dump truck is going by. All right, for those of you, oh, hang on, another truck going by. For those of you who don't know, um, I've had this channel for 12 years, but I've only started to put my face out there the last year or so, really. So this time last year, I was at barely a thousand subscribers. I think maybe 1,100, 1,200, maybe. And now I'm over 9,000. So who knows where this is going to be within the next six months to you know another year. It's great. So again, I appreciate it. The other thing I want to talk about, what? I'm in my car now, um, is uh, Nick Castle's tweet from uh, July the 1st. Now, for those of you who don't know, it was uh, our long weekend, our long weekend, like we only have one. It was a long weekend this past weekend here in Canada. It was Canada Day long weekend. Canada Day is sort of our 4th of July, and Canada Day is July the 1st. Canada turned 151 years old this year, so we're relatively young compared to you guys south of the border. Um, but nonetheless, um, on July the 1st, I wasn't online very much this past weekend because it was a long weekend. And on July the 1st, I noticed that Nick Castle, I noticed this today, that on July the 1st, Nick Castle tweeted out uh, 10 answers to some of the questions that he gets. He gets a lot of questions, right? And every so often, he'll give like 10 answers to some of the most popular ones that he gets. And the final answer, uh, they tend to be like one word, two word answers because, you know, he's got to be quick, right? And the final answer was um, uh, scenes, comma, more than one, comma, but which one? And I'm like, oh, so Nick Castle, unless somebody can comment below and let me know otherwise, is pretty much confirming for us that, yes, he is, in fact, in more than one scene. Now, for those of you who got for those of you guys who have been following me for at least over the last month or so. Uh, I uploaded a video a few weeks ago talking about how James Jude Courtney mentioned on Facebook, in a Facebook post, he said that, uh, no, Nick Castle is in only one scene and he never walks. And I suspected that there was a possibility that he was talking about the trailer, but you know, I went with sort of what it was at face value. I did say that that's a possibility, but I went with, you know, what it was at face value. Um, but as you guys know, news changes, things evolve, right? You got to roll with the punches and go with the flow. And now it looks like that, yes, James Jude Courtney was referring to the trailer. In the trailer, Nick is in only one scene and he never walks. Um, and of course, we know what scene that is. It's where Laurie shoots him, th shoots him through the uh, window, or at least shoots his... Um, reflection in the mirror, right? And that was confirmed by Nick Castle himself like a week or so later anyway. 
Um, but for those of you who are still, you know, big Nick Castle fans and are kind of like, ah, uh, you know, but he's only in a couple of scenes, you know, I don't really get it. Understand that, you know, and I thought this too. I thought this when it was, you know, sort of, we thought that Nick Castle was only going, you know, was only going to be in one scene. I kept in mind that you have to remember scenes don't equal shots. Okay. Scenes can be 10 seconds long can be three and a half minutes long. Just because you're only in one scene doesn't mean that your scene lasts, you know, three seconds, right? A scene can have multiple moments, multiple shots, right? Um, yes, a scene, like I said, can last 10 seconds or can last three and a half minutes, right? So the fact that Nick Castle, we thought was only, you know, was only going to be in one scene, I didn't think it was that big of a deal because we don't know how long that scene plays out, right? Lori could shoot, you know, realize that, you know, she just shot a mirror. She runs into the house. Michael, where are you? Or, you know, you know, perhaps she's trying to save somebody. We see Nick Castle at the top of the stairs as Michael Myers turning his head. You know, there's multiple moments we could have gotten within that one scene. Well, now that we know that it's going to be a few scenes, um, I think it's safe to say that we're going to have some, you know, multiple moments with Nick Castle as the shape, as the shape. The question is, like he said, but which ones, right? Are we going to be able to tell the difference? Um, and I think it's kind of cool. I, I, I think it's kind of fun because we don't know what those moments are, right? We definitely know that he's probably going to be in some, uh, promotional stills for the movie that are sort of, uh, paralleling the promotional shots from the original film back in 1978. We know that that is more than likely going to happen. Nick Castle pretty much confirmed that in an interview with HalloweenDailyNews.com a few months ago that they sort of did that. Uh, those promotional shots will probably be released. I wouldn't be surprised if they were released this month, but certainly, you know, leading up to the, uh, release of the film, right? So, um, so yeah, but again, um, I think it's important to understand that I, I do still believe what Nick Castle said. I believe that when he said, you know, a few months ago, guys, Jim is your Michael Myers now. Jim, you know, referring to James. Uh, you know, Jim is your Michael Myers now. You know, I'm only in the movie. You know, I'm pretty much just a cameo. I do believe that. I believe that it is a cameo role. The vast majority of the movie is going to be James Jude Cordy. And I think that's okay. You know, especially from what we saw in the trailer, the moments that we saw in the trailer with James Jude Courtney, you know, it's very evident that he's, you know, he's doing his best sort of bring that essence of what Nick Castle brought to the character for continuity while still making it his own, of course, but bringing that 78 vibe there. So you don't want to do a Nick Castle impression, but you want to bring the essence of what Nick Castle brought to the character. You want to bring that to um to your portrayal of Michael Myers while still making you know while still making it your own and I think James Jude Courtney has done that I mean again I still have to see how he walks through the space from point A to point B how the shadows fall on him you know how he moves you know you know through scenes rather than just through two or three not even second clips right so there's still you know some things I have to see but I think we got to start giving props to James Jude Courtney I understand that we love Nick Castle and we love the nostalgia and we're excited to see him back. I understand that some might be, you know, a little disappointed that he's not playing the role, you know, through the entire film. Um, but that doesn't bother me. And I think from what I'm seeing from James, I think we got to start saying, all right, you know, James is our new guy now. You know, we got to get on board with this. And I think the vast majority of fans are. But certainly, I think even James Jude Courtney would understand the love for Nick Castle, the whole nostalgia, pulling on the heartstrings, getting the band back together again. It's fun and it's exciting for fans to see Nick Castle, arguably, certainly for me, the greatest portrayal of Michael Myers of all time. So um, definitely there's that nostalgic factor there, which I'm sure James understands, right? But I think, you know, we got to start, you know, preparing that, hey, James is our new guy now. And from what we're seeing, I think it's pretty good. I I think it's pretty good. So anyways, and comment below and let me know if I'm not correct on this and Nick Castle was referring to something else, if you guys do in fact know, but I think there's a good probability here that he is in fact saying, no, no, I'm in a few scenes, but what those scenes are, you're going to have to wait and find out. So, um, and remember for those of you who are Nick Castle fans and who are still disappointed that he's not, you know, playing the shape through the whole movie. Remember a few scenes doesn't just mean a few seconds. Okay. Those scenes 
is could translate into, you know, a total of three and a half, four minutes. I mean, who knows, right? Um, so just keep that in mind that scenes and, and shots are different. You can have multiple shots and multiple moments within one scene. So just keep that in mind. Anyways, folks, my name's Dave McRae. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. It is a balmy fucking day here. Like, a, n it's not balmy. It is a blisteringly hot day here. So in the meantime and in between time, I will talk to you guys soon. Again, thank you so much for the 9,000 subscribers. You guys rock. On our way to 10,000, baby. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. <laughs>